today i'm going to discuss with you another area a very important area in international trade operations that is import export financing right uh, uh, for any clarification or anything i think you are having my mobile number is it Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Puta, uh, you are having my mobile number. <coughs> yes or no? Yes. Sir. Yes. Uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, because since I'm doing from home, uh, time to time, these technical errors can happen. If you can't hear me or if you can't see this once, right, I will just go on preaching, right? So without knowing that you can't hear me, if there's any technical defect, can you please call me <laughs> to my mobile? Can you? Hello? can hear sir no 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 if 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 there's any technical defects because i'm doing from home if you can't see me or if you can't hear me if all of a sudden it can happen if something happen like that can some one of you can call me to my mobile and inform me sure sir sure okay uh, thank you very much. Because the thing is, uh, sometimes I'm just continuing for 10 15 minutes. I mean, I'm asking questions, nobody is answering. So, by the way, can we have your number? <laughs> you didn't have the number, then how are you going to call me? <laughs> right, that's a good one. Uh, 077 613. Six one three five nine eight five five nine eight five five nine eight five. Okay, done. Right. Okay. Uh, then let's let's start it. Um, Today we are going to discuss about the import export financing, the facilities and all. Uh, this is the preamble of doing the uh, import export facilities sum, which is going to be one of your questions definitely under the ABF, right? Which carries 20 marks. So uh, most of the time, how people uh, pass this exam is doing these two sums. So if you do these two sums correctly, you will definitely get 40 marks. Okay, forget about 40. At least you will get 30 marks. Right? For these two. Then you have to score another 15, 20 marks to get through the exam. For that you are having other three more questions, right? In term is one. Number one, question number one is compulsory, right? So question number one compulsory. Uh, this one and for some two questions out of 60, you can easily score 45, 50, right? In Kotam Siddhagatra Basse, you can try a uh, merit pass, B pass, or A pass, right? So it is up to you. But at least I want everybody to get through the exam, my paper. Okay. Uh, for that, the facilities, please follow the one, the what we are going to do today. Uh, that will give you an insight to these trade facilities. Right. 
when you know the background, it's easy for you to set up the facilities. Right. When it comes to trade facilities, uh, today we are going to learn what is short, medium and long term trade finance and the concept of trade cycle. Then when short term finance is required, various types of short term finance available for business. The difference between pre shipment and post shipment finance with recourse and without recourse finance. Various forms of longer term finance available and invoice financing. These are the areas we are going to cover. Uh, if we can cover, I don't think we can cover the whole thing. We'll go as much as possible. Then supply credit, buy credit and forfeit it. Financing options. When you talk about the financing option, one is non DC back transaction. What are non DC back transactions? What are non DC back transactions? Quickly. Hmm? What is non DC back transactions? Out of payment methods, what are the non DC back transactions? How many payment methods we learn? Harshini? How many payment methods we learn? Avanti? Oh. oh, oh, and what are they? What are they? Advance payment. Advance payment. Open account. Open account. Document to credit and document to collection. Right. Okay. So, what are the non DC back transactions then? Out of those, those four payment methods, what are the non DC back transactions? And not under LC. In a mono, they are in Advanced payment. Advanced payment. Open account and documentary collection. Documentary collection. They are the non DC back transaction. DC back transactions are LC transactions. Right? Inventory or receivable financing. Inventory finance or receivable financing. Right? Under that, we had to discuss about factoring. Factoring for open account transactions. Factoring of open account transactions. Then forfeiting. Forfeiting means discounting of trade debts, uh, big trade debts, how we are going to discount those trade debts, right? So those are the areas we are going to cover. Now, <clears throat> for example, uh, I know a lot of you are in branches, right? Uh, you are not in trade, but in branches. Uh, right? You are in trade, SCB. Hello. Harshini, uh, you are in which bank and what area? Hello. Hmm. The matter making exit la a hundred and okay. 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 important. Okay. 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 
राइट ओके चमारी यू आर इन विच बैंक एंड विच डिपार्टमेंट आई मीन अटैच्ड टू पीपल्स बैंक रिकवरीज डिपार्टमेंट रिकवरीज ओके ओके देन अवंती कमर्शियल बैंक ऑपरेशंस डिपार्टमेंट ऑपरेशंस इन कलंबू और ऑफस्टेशन कटुगास्तर कटुगास्तर देन चंदी चंदी मेंडिस सर आई जॉइन टुडे आई एम वर्किंग इन संपत बैंक बिजनेस सपोर्ट सेंटर व्हाट इज द एरिया ऑफ द बिजनेस सपोर्ट credit uh canvassing credit cancel credit facilities. canvassing credit facilities a uh, canvassing credit facilities right and the other for this yeah this is very very important to you what we are going to what we are going to discuss now very very important that you can do your job properly then chandra chandra Chandran, my then I log well again here, right, Krishna? Uh, so I'm not in the bank anymore. Right. So then they in the. I work for NBB and uh, branch banking. Branch bank in where? Uh, at Kandana branch. Kandana, what what area you are handling? Customer service and cash operation mainly, and credit uh, uh, operations also do. Now uh, credit operations also you. So, Devinder, then Chandi. Ah, uh, 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 th these areas are very important to you. There, even among Ahan, you are going to have one or two other than me, right? Me. <coughs> then dilru one disillo what is it erandi erandi which area you are working I think they will run around the end. They are not working for bench. My name is Madam Terenne. You must be from Ratmalana Defendam School. Okay, fine. Geeta. Geeta, who is that? Harshini. Which bank? And. अरसिन सामने मरा आंसर करने के लिए कैन यू हियर मी ओ यू कैन हियर मी व्हाई ऑल ऑफ सर्टेन एवरीबॉडी साइलेंट सर दिस इज साशी आई थिंक दे आर मैसेजिंग मैसेजिंग मरा दाल वाले क्या है वो मम्मे मित्र मैसेज बांध रही नहीं है मतलब मैं बना ना ऐरेंड है इफ You have a backbone. You should be able to talk. When I asking a question, don't ever message me. That's one of the conditions, right? When I ask a question, answer me. I don't want any message messages. A messages, but I name a classic. You will not mang him exit na misak. I have no time to read your messages, right? Because. We have to cover. now. I'm just wasting our time when when I'm asking this. Puta then khata kare ke na work with work karne. Mom sir, commercial bank kare karne mom. System support department kare karne mom. System support. So you are you are not immediately engaging in financing part. Right? No boss. No no. Right. Yes, Ashi. 
then Katti Katti in the Adutina with a bite among Hagan Hagan Akila, right? Okay. Ugulu Hagan Hitia take another together in Mother Lacey. Tuck Galagi Hagi, Maggie, subject together. A little classic human away. Katti had your say. Excuse me, sir. My uh, microphone was not working earlier. All right. Now I fix it. Uh, what's your name? SII message. I'm Harshani. Harshani. Attached to NDG Bank uh, Credit uh, Associate, Branch Banking. Branch Banking Credit Associate. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you are one of the girls always uh, responding. Right? And you, uh, Harshani, Devinda, Chandi, Apitundane, Kitarina, Madanga, Poyagin, now it's not the ne, branch credit association. Right? So you are the people who will be benefited with these areas. Right? Okay. When a customer comes to you, comes to the bank, asking for a facility, now you have a good customer. Uh, he was doing good business with you. No issues and all. So one day he will walk in, walk into you, and he will uh, ask, uh, tell you, uh, Miss, uh, I want to uh, start import export business. For that, I need trade facilities. So can you arrange me? Harshini, uh, if there's a customer like that. Do you straight away tell him, okay, Mr. Barra, sit, how much you want? 50 million? 50 million at the, like 60 car under the, him then or other. No. He said, no. Then, what are you going to do? We need to identify his uh, requirement first. Very good. Very good. And him on the car under the water, Peter. Make a lively arrangement. May, 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 may. This is going to be a discussion, right? This discussion should be very lively. Then only you will learn uh, feedback. It, you know. So if a customer comes to you now, now you have, uh, that guy, uh, Chandi. Now you are also canvassing for business. No? Now this guy says he is preparing, uh, or he is he is going to manufacture shoes is going to manufacture shoes right then you throw up then the business is done now now what are the questions you have to ask him basically you have to ask some simple questions because you are not going to give the facility immediately you are not the authority you may be the associate right but you have to understand speak to the customer understand him and then you have to write a note and put it to your boss. Am I correct? I mean, that's the way. Or, or either if, uh, you have to uh, take that customer to the branch manager and uh, introduce him to the branch manager and tell the branch manager, uh, sir, this he is so and so, he is doing this business, he is uh, planning to manufacture shoes, right? Then the manager will also think, if Harjani handles something, it's perfect. Right? Those are the things that will work at the year end when they are writing your appraisal. Right? So you have to be mamma ki neva exam in ne. But as bankers, it's very, very important to you, right? So uh, basically, you have to ask some questions. You have to ask them, what do you sell? And what is involved in producing it? What do you sell? Now, what's the answer? If, if I ask, uh, what do you sell? Right, Sashi, now, what, what should be the uh, answer? What is that particular customer is going to sell? One to one, I am manufacturer and one other. Shoes. 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 He, he, he is going to sell shoes. 
then you have to ask him, okay, you are going to manufacture shoes. So what is involved in producing it? <coughs> Roughly, you have to ask, then he will tell you, uh, he need one of the shoes, leather. Raw materials. Yeah, yeah, yeah raw materials. What are the raw materials? Leather. 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 Then leather, you have uh, 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 madam, uh, we'll have to import it from India. Fine. Then, uh, what else to manufacture shoes? Only leather? Hmm. Only leather. He wants to import the sole. Soul of the shoe, right? He wants to import soul. The soul he is going to get it from, uh, if you say Pakistan or uh, Bangkok, right? Then what else? Lay. Is buttons, slips. Those things, those things they are going to import from China. Right? Different, different raw materials from different, different countries. They are not going to import everything from India. Right? It is a mix. And then you have to check who do you buy from. Right? Then he, he, he will tell you uh, leather from India. I have a contact. Right? Then uh, souls from Pakistan uh, or uh, Bangkok. Then lace, buttons, and those uh, aluminium or uh, copper rings and all, uh, sips, all those things, uh, these flashy ones from China. Right? Then you have to ask them to whom you are going to sell. Then the answer will be, which uh, I'm going to uh, sell it to the local market 50%. The balance 50%, I'm planning to export. Then you will ask, which country? Then he will mention the name. Right? Then put the band on now, put the band on now. Uh, may make customer export karanda hadan ne export karanda than a country. Eh? Avi then countries want to not yell. One country is China, one country is Thailand, Bangkok, one country is. Nepal, one country is uh, India, one country is India. So he has mentioned four countries, right? What do you think? If he, the what answer he will give? If he gives the answer China, do you think that he is having a good market in China for our shoes? Ashani, can you want? No, sir. No. No. Why? They are producing at a low, low cost. Low cost. Bangkok? No. No, in a in a thing, a a pay music dealer, a cardboard petty petty music, and in no one the Bangkok game la. Ane Bangkok ganu gatam game na, ane mara sapat game ni. Pekan game na, ane mara piara game na, mara piara game na. Ya bay. In a pita beat kar na bay. India, we are importing leather from India, and do you think that we are going to export it to them because they are having better shoes? That's the 
one of the trademark business, even in India, shoes. Uh, Nepal or Bhutan? Yes, there's a possibility. They are, they are not producing it. Right? So that you have a better market. And what am I? You have to decide. And on what terms? On what terms? Whether it's DP or DA or site LC or is it advanced payment? Whatever the terms, right? So in order to evaluate the type and the amount uh, of the trade facilities, a business requires more detailed discussions than this. But rough, roughly some of the things are suppliers. What payment method? When you are buying things from suppliers, the raw materials, on what payment methods? Amounts, period of credit. When you are buying from suppliers, what do you think? the best payment method is to pay at site or to pay at DA terms or users after 30 days or 90 days for the raw materials. Which one is better? Like pay after users. Users. Users or DA is the best. Right? Then we have to check our customer. What is their product production cycle? Hmm? That I'm going to discuss with you. Then the buyers. Who are the buyers? What payment method they are going to pay us? And when, when it comes to buyers, always try to uh, uh, put the customer to do, do the dealings against DP or site basis. Then he get immediate cash. You have to ex explain them those things to them and get them to um, work on that area. Right? Always you have to help them. Right. Then we have to think about the payment. Short term finance, the, whatever the finance we are going to give them, whether it's short term or medium term or long term. 99% of the trade finance transactions financing are short term. Short term means to repay within two years. Right? 99.5% are short term. Very few are more than uh, two years. Right? Uh, normally, uh, trade transactions what is the duration? Normal trade transaction, what is the duration? Maximum? Normal trade transaction, what is the duration? Maximum? 14 days? 14 days? No way. 14 days will be going to Document to get the money to complete the transaction, how long is it? Six months, 90 days, 90, 120 days. Yeah, 90, 120 are the basic ones, but maximum 180 days. Maximum 180 days is six months, right? So, anyway, less than two years, we uh, categorize under short term. So obviously, uh, trade finance facilities are short term. Can you give me one example or not two examples for medium term finance? That covers two to five years period. Not trade. Trade network. Then who would make up? Who would then have finances bank again? Medium term. Personal loan. Very good. No. SME loans. Term loans. Uh -huh. Term loans. Term loans can be a vague 
पांच हजार का टर्म लोन कैन गो अप टू फिफ्टी इयर्स टू इयर्स थ्री इयर्स एंड फिफ्टी मंगाने निकाल नॉर्मल फैसिलिटीज बना दे कस्टमर से लेने अरे ये मतलब आप इधर आप इधर देना बैंकिंग आप इधर देनी आप इधर नहीं करना तो कस्टमर से लेने का पोनिंग हाँ पोनिंग पोनिंग या पोनिंग इज वन व्हीकल लोन्स व्हीकल लोन्स लीसिंग फैसिलिटीज ऑल आर टू टू फाइव इयर्स मीडियम लॉन्ग टर्म फाइनेंस हाउसिंग लोन्स हाउसिंग लोन्स एक नाम देना पड़ेगा � Was in loans. Okay. Then we we'll talk about the concept of trade cycle. So all the businesses require some working capital. Now this working capital is the money we immediately need, available cash, to pay wages, purchase of materials, etc. Right. Normally this working capital is funded by the owners or shareholders of the business. The balance will be by the banks. No, no bank will give working capital financing to any company if they say if they ask for hundred percent, hundred percent working capital financing. Then no, no, that that guy wants to start the business without having a cent in his pocket, right? You are going to kick a business kind of up, right? Man. We finance up to a certain extent. Now, the working capital finance of trade cycle can be defined as the time period between the start of the supply chain, that is, ordering of raw materials, goods, and the receipt of payment from corresponding sales. Right. So that's a trade cycle. we must always give facilities as per the trade cycle of the customer that is why we are asking 1001 questions that is why we are asking 1001 questions from the customer to ascertain what is his business right sometimes the customer will ask come and ask you i need this uh, cracking credit facility for one year don't give don't give So you have to uh, you have to first you have to see whether this is workable or not. Huh? What is the trade cycle? It is a balance, you know, right? Then uh, uh, if you now the previous example, the shoe manufacturer, Abhi Ak, take a moment. He is importing uh, he is importing uh, leather from India. So for that he has to open a LC. He has to open the LC two weeks before the shipment. Two weeks before the shipment, uh, he has to open the LC. Then the shipment will take another one week to come to Sri Lanka, right? Then uh, either we have to pay or if it is useless, then we will be on the due date. Then after that, we'll care, take that raw material to manufacture the uh, end product, shoes, right? And then after one month, the present time is we'll keep it as one month. After one month, now we are selling the goods to Nepal or Bhutan. Okay, then only. Uh, If you are selling on six days DA, then we will the exporter will get the money only after six days. Then only they will get the money. So from the time we open the LC and up to the time we receive the money from the exporter's buyer or export proceeds. The entire period is trade cycle, right? Or trade cycle. That means, after that, India will do something. Well, no. Trade cycle will be done. Business will be done. 
Okay. In international trade, the trade cycle is much longer than the domestic trade. Can somebody tell me why? Can somebody tell me why? Due to shipment delays. Mm. Shipment delays when the pull up they eat it a culling. Shipment was at the home, but then delayed back in the end by international trade. The trade cycle is much longer than the domestic trade. Because of protectionist barriers? Because of protectionism barriers? Don't go into that deep. We have to sell the goods to overseas. We have to sell the goods to overseas, but I am asking you why the trade cycle is much longer than the domestic trade. Because of the shipment period. That's the answer. Madhyanabani is answered in the Duganama. Go over Sarla. Jitma. 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 We are giving good answers. Jitma, you are in which bank? Now I'm not working in the bank. I'm working in a trading company. Trading company. But you are a you are a good trader, right? You want to have a simple answer. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Simple. So, uh, what is the trading company you are working with now? So, we do imports. Uh, mm -hmm. Our local products, spices and other stuff. Coconut and things. All local products you are importing? Yes, sir. Don't tell me spices and all you are, you are importing. I exporting, so it's exporting. We are exporting spices and coconut. Ah, it comes up. Mm, good, yeah. Oh, make a make a reverse again and trade the coconut. <laughs> no, sir, sorry, sir. We are exporting. Exporting, yeah, very good. So, you are the first. Now, see, Jitma is the person of the current situation of Kim of Gotabaya Rajabaksha. They are doing exports, so you are earning foreign currency to our country. We need uh, exporters. I think. You all have got curfew passes also, ne? Right? Yes. Yeah, we, we can't go out. <laughs> we can't go out. Uh, all the others, we are confined to house arrest. Jitma can move freely. She is in a uh, most, wa most wanted industry at the moment. It's sports, right? Okay. Please uh, involve in this discussion. Try to learn uh, in a uh, very jovial manner. Learning 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 I will, I will guide you to write the answers. It is up to you to write. Well, you, you all are mature people. Got through your exams. At least A level. At least A level. Otherwise, you will not be recruited to a bank. So that means you are uh, knowledgeable guys uh, with a brain. I am only trying to brush up your brain and guide you it's a remarkable then okay if you're if you're a buddhist the lord buddha has reached that one right buddhism is not a 
a religion. Buddhism is not a religion, it's a philosophy. Right? We, we have the philosophy to do. So I'm also giving you the guidelines. It is up to you to find the thing. So given the guidelines, better to discuss it and put everything in into your heart and the brain. People are not lazy. Hmm? However, in most cases, it is 180 days or less. Mm. This one, in our notebooks, just um, put an asterisk and uh, put a note saying that concept of the trade cycle, Kiradala, Iraggala, Dharma. Possible short question. Possible short question. Four marks, five marks, questionnaire in the book. Right? In difference between post shipment financing and pre shipment finance. Pre shipment finance is from the time we ordered the LC, uh, the goods LC. And then the goods will come to the country. We'll have to clear the goods. And then we are using that goods, the raw materials, to do manufacturing. And then we export the end product. Up to that point, it is pre shipment. Pre shipment. Pre export shipment. Right? Uh, another name for pre shipment is. Packing credit, packing credit facility. Post shipment is after you ship the goods, after you ship the end product, then the facility you need. Now, those uh, shoes, if you are uh, if you are selling to Nepal or Bhutan on ninety days DA. 90 days DA. So they will send you the money after 90 days. But for that interim period of 90 days, the company has to incur a lot of expenses. Pay taxes, pay wages, pay overtime, electricity bills, water bills, telephone bills. How much? So are we going to wait till we get the money after 90 days. No. We want to finance it. Right? So that is post finance, post shipment. Other one is with recourse and without recourse. So I have a question. Yeah. So now let's say we are shipping the shoes, uh, shoes to Bhutan mm. to like a retailer there, and they are saying they, they will pay after 30 days. Mm. But what happens if there is no sales hmm. at all? Then what happens to us? That is very good question. Yeah, Jitma? Sister. Sister. It's a good question. Now, are you are you just are you just uh, mm, sending shoes to Bhutan or are you going to have uh, agreement and the contract signed with those parties? With an agreement. Hmm. You are sure? Yes. If you are sure, then you are question. You can question you ask me, put that into the agreement. Simple as that. Put that question into the agreement. You have to agree on whether you sell it or not. I need the money after 30 days. So in that case, we will open, uh, we will do the shipment only against uh, 90 days or 60 days usance LC. Then the bank will, the uh, Nepali bank or Bhutan bank will issue the LC, 
they will issue the LC. The bank has given an irrevocable undertaking. Whether they sell it or not, I don't mind. I will get the money. But if you are okay with the, the guy for, uh, for any delays of one month or so, as per the contract, if you can absorb the loss, then you can do it on collection. Everything on the contract. Tested? Okay, but sir. You understand. It's, yes. it's a very, very simple thing, right? All right. So one thing is with recourse financing. With recourse financing means when when we do some with recourse financing, like what Crystal just asked, Crystal has export the goods to Bhutan on 60 days DA terms collection. Six days, the year terms, collection, right? And the customer says, uh, Miss, I want money. I want money. Uh, I, I want to discount the bill because I need some money. Uh, you're a good customer. So what you can do is you can discount the bill. You can discount the bill, right? and pay the customer and advance the money to the customer. You can do that too. Now, as you very correctly mentioned, if you don't, that guy face a problem of selling the stuff. Right now you can't, we have already discount the bill and paid them, but we haven't received the money. What are we going to do for the money we have advanced to him? What is our position? We have advanced money. What is our position? Can somebody give me the answer? Can somebody give me the answer? Okay, but I mean, no. so can you repeat the question, please? The question is, now, uh, Crystal is the exporter. She has exported to Bhutan on 60 days DA terms, on collection DA terms. And after doing the shipment, the crystal goes to a bank and tells them, look, I'm going to get this money after 60 days. BA terms, but collection, right? I need some advance immediately. So can you discount this export bill and give me an advance of at least 60%? At least sixty percent advance you can can you give? So the bank will agree and the bank bank will give, right? On the maturity, that Bhutan guy has not sent the money, saying that he couldn't sell the goods. What are we going to do? Uh, we have to uh, obtain. Uh, uh, letter of indemnity form in order to recover the funds from the customer. Good reply. Buddha, can I have your name, please? I'm Udita. Udita. Udita, which bank? NDB. NDB. Where is the other one? NDB, where is it? Kandahar branch. Kandahar branch. Right. Udita has a good suggestion. If it is under collection,
if you are discounting, but the collection, now we have done all these things. So we, we know collection means if the buyer pays, you will get the money. Otherwise, no. There's no hard and fast rule. So what Uditha does is he, he will ask for us Fisterer to give an indemnity of some other collateral, at least a property. Mortgage collateral facility can they know. Right? A facility can bill discounting one to the other. No. You got it, Christopher. Right? Then only uh, you can recover the money. Otherwise, if you give without any security, you are going to have it. So that one we call it with recourse to the customer, with recourse to the customer. But meanwhile, there is another product we do without recourse to the customer. And what payment method and what is the product? Without recourse to the customer. We will take up the matter with the bank, bank to bank, uh, custom is out. With the documentary credit? Very good. Documentary credit. Under documentary credit, mm -hmm. if we negotiate the bills, we negotiate the bills, bill negotiation is without recourse to the customer. Because when we negotiate the bill, that means we negotiate if the documents are complied with the terms and conditions of the LC, we negotiate. If you got a habit of buying their nanny, that is without recourse to the customer. Without recourse to the customer. Right? Okay. Now we'll see what are the types of short term facilities available for exporters given by the banks. There are various, various types of short-term facilities available to the exporters. One is loan no overdraft. Another one is loan no overdraft secured by an assignment of the exporter's credit insurance policy. Jitma Hundaratahagana. Jitma, what is your surname? Jitma Kumar Singh. Jitma Kumar Singh. Jitma, what is your name? I'm going to go to the house. Oh, sir. That's it. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. You can add more value to your company. Right? So, you are doing an export. You can export it. When you go to the bank, you can ask for a loan or overdraft for working capital. Right? Then another one is loan overdraft secured by an assignment of the exporter's credit insurance policy. Are you taking this when you are doing the exports? Exporter's credit insurance policy. What is the other name for this? The common name. Sri Lanka this is issued by Sri Lanka Export Credit Insurance Corporation. Sri Lanka Export Credit Insurance Corporation. In short, what policy? SLESIC. SLESIC. S L E C I C. S L S L E C I C. SLESIC. SLESIC. Sri Lanka Export Credit Insurance Corporation. Right? We can ask a policy from SLESIC. SLESIC will cover the security part. And the bank will gladly accept the SLESIC cover. Because the Sri Lanka Export Credit Insurance Corporation will cover the payment from the uh, Importer will 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 guarantee the payment from the importer, right? Make a 
పొడి కారణకు పెన్ని ఫో హండ్రెడ్ రూపీస్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ రూపీస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అంటే మతకి విధుల పాయింట్ నే హండ్రెడ్ రూపీస్ వంటి దీని సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ సెన్స్ ఇవ్వదు సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ సెన్స్ రెండు వాగి పొడి కారణం తీయండి ఇఫ్ ఐఎమ్ కరెక్ట్ రైట్ ఇవిగా అంటే అప్పుడ స్ట్రెసిక్ పాలసీ అక్కడ వస్తాను వేసి ఎనివే వీ ఆర్ గోన్ టు లెర్న్ అబౌట్ స్ట్రెసిక్ పాలసీ లేటర్ బిఫోర్ ఐ ఫాగ్ ఇట్ స్టూడెంట్స్ we had a special class on last wednesday right i told you then i will let you know when is the next class okay have another have another yes sir, yes, sir. Uh, there won't be any class on wednesdays because why we had we had to plan plan out certain classes uh, we thought we won't be able to finish the syllabus right but when the things are happening in country it looks like we won't be able to have the exam in october that will be postponed to november december ekalte రైట్ ఎన్నైతే ఆ బిడ్డ కలపలే విలా అని ఇది మరా క్లాస్ కరండ ఉన్నాయి అనేది ఒక క్లాస్ చదరం మళ్ళీ తిన్నాక అంటే అమారు ఉన్న చిత్ర కవి బలము రైట్ అబ్బిడ విలా మధ్య ఉన్న చిత్ర బలము దాని దమ్మ దాని లండ ఉన్నాయి నేను పాడా కరగనండి ఓకే రైట్ గుడ్ సో సో దట్ మీన్స్ నో క్లాసెస్ ఆన్ వెన్స్డే నెక్స్ట్ సండే వీఆర్ హ్యాపీ బ్యాంక్ స్పెషల్ ఎక్స్పోర్ట్ ఫైనాన్స్ స్కీమ్స్ ఎవ్రీ బ్యాంక్ హ్యాస్ దియర్ ఓన్ ఫైనాన్స్ స్కీమ్స్ డిస్కౌంట్ ఆఫ్ కలెక్షన్ బేస్ bill advance right ekata bhi discuss kala acceptance credit when we accept the bill of exchange for that we have to give acceptance credit facility right uh can you can somebody tell me under dc under dc right uh, we have exported the goods to um we have exported goods to bhutan under dc 90 days usance so the customer has accepted draft to pay on the maturity so the importers bank issuing bank of the lc uh, they have sent the uh, swift message to uh, crystal bank right crystal you are standard chartered uh, no so i'm not in the bank anymore. yeah yeah you said yeah earlier where were you hnb hnb right hnb right okay if you say hnb now uh, uh, so we have sent the documents from hnb and then the importers bank has sent the swift message to hnb saying that this particular document has been accepted by the importer to be paid on after 90 days they have accepted right so we can discount that acceptance rate nothing to worry anyway whether the 
importer pays or not, importer's bank will have to pay. That's a different thing. On top of that, importer has also given an assurance, right? So acceptance state can make it. Then negotiation of bills drawn under DCs. This we have discussed. Red Cross DCs. That's another facility. If you open Red Cross DCs, then the exporter can get advance payment. Exporter can get an advance payment. Make up a pre shipment financial packing credit and export factoring or inverse discounting. All these things are types of short term facilities available to exporters. Sometimes this is another area where uh, the examiner will question you. Right? Uh, those days they gave one question a facility sum. Now they are giving a facility sum plus another area uh, to write. So they might ask, uh, please briefly explain what is uh, product cycle. Oh, sorry, uh, trade cycle. What do you understand by trade cycle? Or they will say, uh, write uh, or name five short term facilities available to exporters to make him pass the unknown. Right? You get a five marks, then I got 15 marks. Then, sir, uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, uh, I just want to uh, get a clarification on that acceptance credit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> On uh, documentary credit, uh, yeah. uh, the resource basis yeah. that bill, uh, that the bill of exchange should be drawn on a bank. Yes, that's that's the thing that bank should pay, right? Yes, because the bank the acceptance, uh, but before bank, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, was it that? Yes, yeah, was it that? The mother put that or stick up the purdy, right? You're asking very, very relevant questions, right? Now, if it is LC, we draw the bill of exchange on the importer's bank, right? Yeah. Then, really speaking, importer's bank has to accept the bill, but the practice is. First, they get the approval from the uh, customer. First, they want to get the approval from the customer. Then mm -hmm. they will also send the uh, swift message saying that this has been accepted. So, if it is under LC, nothing to worry. Payment. Definitely, we are going to get the payment. But similarly, if we get a acceptance strip on a collection bill, can we discount that also? Because customer has accepted the bill to be paid on after uh, 90 days. And can we discount that acceptance rate? Since it, it's on the documentary uh, DA, repeater. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, the recourse? It is, it is, it is 90 days DA. 90 days. So can we, dis can we discount? Customer has accepted to pay after 90 days. The bank has sent us the, uh, the bank has sent us the, what do you call this? Uh, uh, accepted. Uh, a suit message. 
can we discount that message? Based on that message, can we discount the bill and pay the exporter? There should be underlined uh, credit facility or uh, security to discount the, uh, the bill. Very good. Very good. Good answer. Right? Because it will be without recourse to the customer. Oh, sorry, uh, with recourse to the customer. If you are doing it, it will be with recourse to the customer. The acceptance trade under a uh, LC, we can do it without recourse to the customer. Without recourse to the customer, we can check the uh, bank risk, country risk, and then we can discount it. We can do it without recourse to the customer. Make it with recourse to the customer. That's the difference. Right? Make a bank 30 Ugana or 30 Patlite and whatever. Negotiation of bills drawn under this is red cross etica. Then we'll see what are the security. Now we talk about the security now. Damita Kuwa, Hashine Kuwa, security diagonal, Mether Nagila. Now what are the securities? Now method of taking goods as security, another one. Either in most banks, uh, Harsini, you said you are in the credit area? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are there any guys in this forum who are having, who are in the uh, credit department granting facilities? Granting facilities? Right? Okay. Normally, there are three methods of taking goods as security. Right? One is mortgage, other one is hypothecation, third one is pledge. Right? Mortgage means mortgage of goods. Mortgage of goods as a security. We, we can create a uh, legal or equitable interest in property as security, right? Uh, and we can get a security cover. There's no harm if it is a property mortgage. Property mortgages have been no issue. We can get a equitable interest in property as a security, right? But when it comes to mortgage of stocks stocks and book debts as a security useless what is the meaning of having goods as security if it is a property mortgage is that property mortgage is movable or immovable 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 that property is not going here and there. So we can get a uh, another may we can put a caveat and stop the selling of the property and then uh, immediately we can put a caveat and block it and then we can have a mortgage sign with the bank. But it's a very cumbersome thing. You have to uh, check the documents and uh, deeds, uh, title documents, everything. It's, it's a long, long, lengthy process, right? And the other thing, okay, the Apitimu Thava customer gag, Devinda, if you think Devinda is a customer, Devinda is importing um, bee onions and potatoes. 
Devin there is importing bee onions and potatoes. Now you have stored everything in a uh, warehouse. You are, in your warehouse, you have stored that. A content load that cavity and gunny bags all up one stock color the uh, and you want to mortgage the stocks to the bank. Mortgage the stocks to the bank, to NBB bank. Can we do it? Yes. No issue. Legally, yes. But will there be any uh, effect? Yes. Will there be any effect? What is the effect? Because we have created the equity interest or the, the legal interest on the stocks. Is, is that what you are saying? You said yes, sir? Yes. Oh, so they are perishable goods. They are perishable goods. If they are perishable goods, not only perishable, unperishable, not. Api make a baby. Birun tikai, alatikai badagan in no, and make a mage, atagai wood balaganai. Don't touch this. Right? Angela de Kalagena banquet. Angela de Kalagena, this is my goods. Right? Um, don't touch this. No, no, sorry, I can't put that. Banco Gena, Banco Gena customer. After the end, make a pay goods, a mortgage color thing in the matter. Right? Matter, I may take a gun, no, no. Can we do that? No. So at the end of the day, you will have empty uh, storeroom and a massive outstanding without having any uh, security, without having any security. A pig a badagan hit your thin wind, a get Kunilana, cart up nothing. Right? So, mortgages on stocks is not a good thing. Right? Mortgages of goods as banking security are very rare and uncommon as goods by the nature should be transitory. I mean, one Taman Dakino, some other banks got no. Right? Mortgage on stocks. Stock mortgages gunna. You know that stock mortgages are gunna. Hmm? The second one and the legal cost and everything is very expensive. Second one is hypothecation. Hypothecation is, is an agreement to give charge over goods. What the documents of title to the goods which are not in the bank's possession, right? Which are not in the bank's possession. Now, hypothecation is a charge over goods. It's a charge over goods. That means the customer undertake customer undertakes. Okay, the he will say. Okay, I I agree that. The bank is the legal owner of the goods. Bank is the legal owner of the goods. What I am doing is the bank has given the goods to me on trust for me to sell it and settle the loan. Right? They have given me the goods on trust. They appear making Vukudala making given loan. Right? So that is hypothecation. The trust receipt form is a hypothecation. Trust receipt. Right? And normally we use where the bank has sold the goods. Okay? Uh, in this way, we protect ourselves against the, any loss of our rights as a pledgee. But this is also 
not a good one because people can do a lot of errors. A lot of errors, right? Fridge. Fridge is a preferred one. Fridge is a preferred one, right? Preferred one in the sense, um, the hypothetical uh, TRK are Fridge is a good one. Are there any people from uh, NDP current or Mangitane Kadegati? Bank of Slot? People's Bank? Are there any people? Are there any people? Hmm? Are there any people from People's Bank, Bank of Slot? What is the answer? Kalani? People's Bank. If you look at my bridge loans, NDB, what are you doing? Bridge loans? No, sir. No, sir, or oh, no idea. Some branches are doing like uh, they are the, they are the, this uh, cultivation rice. Solid, solid answer with it. Solid answer. Right. Uh, uh, bank you are going to bank you are going to be able to do it. Why are you going to be able Oh, sir. How long have you been there? Uh, uh, like four years. Four years. Four years. Four years. Can me me Now who is the manager there? Uh, uh, she, uh, there's a manager. Should be Nilufa teacher. Nilufa? Nilufa teacher. Mm. Nah. Vinoj Patrana? Yeah, yeah. He, he, was, he was there. Yeah, yeah. He was there at Kandana one yeah. time. Yes, sir. Right. You worked with him? No, no, actually. No, right. Vinoj was one of my students, right? Come on, Vinoj Dham here. Um, but you 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 have a good knowledge about what is happening in the bank. That is very important as a banker. Uh, now uh, he gave me an answer. Some banks, some branches are doing. Now the Udidas, uh, customer, api api thun dang Udidas inne polonaru branche kela NDB o polonaru. Pranaru they do. They do for paddy manufacturers. Right? Paddy harvest, they uh, once they clean the thing, uh, uh, rice bags, they put it to their stores. Right? And they ask for a pledge loan facility from the bank. Pledge loan. Right? That pledge loan facility means we store the things in the uh, warehouse or customer's warehouse and then customer will put a padlock and the bank will also put another padlock. So it's dual control. If customer wants to take 100 bags of rice to clean and put into the market or whatever, or to, or to release to the market, may have come a polish curve rice in the protein, right? If they want to sell it to the market, they will inform the bank. The bank will send one guy, they will send Udita with the key. The customer will open one padlock, Udita will open the other one on behalf of the bank. Then they will take 100 bags. You will put a 
note and then come back to the bank and inform the manager. So that means on the following day, customer has to uh, pay your money because he's going to set it to at least one day or two days time, the customer has to pay your money. But after the store, stock again, yeah. So that was a better control, but it's cumbersome. But it is cumbersome, right? That is why nowadays a lot of customers, uh, even the banks, we don't want to have these pledge loans, TR loans, and all those things, right? It's a real headache. So we we will ask the customer, okay, why not you give us a property, mortgage a property, and pro a property mortgage could appear a customer facilities take a settle come. We, we prepare the facilities uh, against a mortgage of property. They may a property mortgage guy make customer a line of business. There's no connection at all. No connection at all. Right? But that will be a better security because we don't want to go behind and control everything. Right? Uh, the project how medical program manchiwa. PR got man explain color you are going to win the gala make a PR again the cool problem at the end we put the goods in one store the customer will put five five six banks same stuff into that stores right if, if that guy is an import of lentils or dal right then he will open LCs with NDB Bank, Sampath Bank, Bank of Sloan. Okay, then once they open LCs with uh, all these banks, everybody is importing DAL. You come DAL at a customer again. Store Salatina. So if we go for stock inspection, he will show us now what it is representing the. NDB Bank he is going on a stock inspection to visit the customer. Was it thing in our stuff again? Good name. Maybe no, we couldn't sell the deal at the habit. But he is showing us the stocks that he has imported from through Sampath Bank and Bank of Islam. That's another massive stock. A work, you know, as I already know. मैं सही के बड़ू जमाए वह गहलने ने संपत किया ना वह गहलने ने बीओसी किया ना हाँ आरोग्य और परिपूर्णिति के दिनों राइट दिस इस हाउ पीपल मैनिपुलेट सो इट इस डिफिकल्ट इन आईडेंटिफाइंग द गुड्स राइट अनलेस अदरवाइज इनसाइड द स्टोर्स अभी सेक्रेटरी के लाल दोरोल दाल लॉक कर ला नहीं मत Customer can sell the goods and not pay in the bank, right? Now comparison of trust receipt and pledge loans. Make an exam, make it a sum money. It's a possible question, right? Just see the comparison trust receipt against pledge loans. I'll come and explain to you. Give me one minute, but you can go through this. Actually, I'm explaining all this background information to you because uh, I know a lot of uh, lecturers they just start doing the sums right but before doing sums it's, you have to have a background information that's why I'm spending this much of time discussing these things with you because uh, I don't want to create a half boy eggs should be full boy, right? That thing had a name, had a name. Make in the make a hundred, oh no, Terengan, because you are going to work in banks. Then all these nitty gritty things you should know. If you are studying, with a view to just get through the exam, I know a lot of 
people have are doing that right but uh, that's the main reason why during last few years uh, when i took over lecturing for dbf and dabf it was only uh, 22% was the pass rate of international trade 22% was the pass rate for international trade and uh, till last year i did the single medium one right so i brought the single is medium same question paper no? pass rate gradually i increase it and last few years i ended up last three four years i ended up as 70 to 75 percent pass rate 70 to 75 percent pass rate right only last year from 2020 i took over both classes let's see how about your ones this time but uh, i'm not guaranteeing anything because uh, if it is a physical class then we are meeting physically now there's no way we can see how many my class how many people have attended my class other than 20 or 30 but i'm sure at least nearly 1000 people will write the paper right so they are what they are doing is they are listening to my lectures and then they'll try to do that's a different thing for the awkward physically may well at least rather than joining the class and clarifying your gray areas you can't learn right take it one maximum can make it otherwise i don't have to explain all these things but this comparison of trust receipt and pledge loans, if you see the past papers, this, this is one of the questions, right? Now, trust receipt are governed by a statute. Statute, that is a, a trust receipt ordinance of, trust receipt ordinance 1947. Trust Receipt Ordinance, 1947. A ordinance again, my Trust Receipt Government. But for pledge loans, there's no separate statute. Right? Then, since it is uh, governed under ordinance, governed under an ordinance, TR, right? It's a powerful instrument. But pledge loans, no separate statute and has to be dealt under the normal laws of the country. Right? Then number two, ownership of the good is with the bank. Ownership of goods is with the bank under trust receipt. We release the goods to the customer on trust. We release the, the customer uh, what is there in the trust receipt? Kyola Baladin under the trust receipt. Uh, we understand these are goods owned by the bank. The customer has imported the goods, but the uh, uh, as for the trust receipt, customer says we know that these goods are owned by the bank. I am, this has been released to me on trust. So my duty is to sell the goods and pay the bank. Simple as that. Right? Pledge don't make ownership of the customer. The borrowing customer. But it is dual control every time the bank is controlling. But the ownership is with the customer. The control of the goods is with the customer when it comes to TR. Here the control over goods is with the 
back because we have to go there and open the padlock and then release the goods there even though he promised or he confirmed that okay i know that it is your goods but he will manipulate right PR has to be registered within land registry within 21 days. Any questions? Anybody wants to ask? Yes, sir. Uh, about that uh, control, uh, use, uh, the, it says uh, the con under pet loans, the control is under bank. Yes. Shouldn't that be control, uh, control is with both bank and customer? No. Is, uh, control, yeah. Anyway, anyway, Puta. Uh, customer has a control now. Anyway, because the uh, ownership of the goods is with the borrowing customer. Right? So, uh, customer has the ownership. But, even though it is owned by the customer, he can't control the goods. Unless we go and open it, he can't do anything. See? Right? It's an appeal the customer own neck. Control is in our hands. Control is in our hands. If without my key, he can't use. That means, am I having the control? Am I having the control? Yeah, I am having a part of my control. Yes. Not part. Mama, are you in the What? Mama, are you in the part of the What? Mama, what part is that? Customer is going against me. I'm not going to open it. Then he can't get the goods because I'm having the control. It is like uh, um, bank safe lockers right? Bank bank control I'll give you a nice example for this one. Okay, for example, forget about the timing. But it is always better to have understanding what you are doing. Then you don't have to study hard. Everything will be in your head. Uh, I told you when uh, when I was working for this happened when I was working for um, SCB Standard Chartered Bank about 26 27 years back. This happened. One of my very good customers he was importing uh, dal, he was importing dal, right. So uh, we have given trust receipt, TR loan. We are given TR facility and TR loan. So we we gave the TR loan and the goods was with the customer. Uh, good customer, very loyal for years and all. But I have a way of handling certain operations in my department. That is why I'm always coming out with flying colors on the touch wood one other bread and other you know maggi best practices are it mahari when if i give tr loans i used to visit customers very often i am a i am a manager even though i was a head of trade would have cut a head of trade de i'm very asset line i'm not a manager like that right if you are a manager you have to go to the grassroots level and if uh, if you are given tr loans you have to monitor every two weeks or so i used to put a round and visit certain customers once i visited this particular customer and then when i went to the warehouse it was near um, near temple trees, 
pitipas gate in temple trees, pitipas gate taking Navamava thing avila slave island will return a part of the name 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 of the stores. He said, Lukumatya Kiwi ne. Mungo Lukumatya Kiwi and one ne. This is my property. Number two, ownership is, ownership of goods is with the bank. This is my, my property. Goods are my property. So I want to see my property. Then he said, uh, he has to inform the Mateka Theri Nasa, Mama Lokkata Adharanu. Then Lokkata told me, uh, he called and he gave me the phone and he said, uh, why sir, you want to check? I said, yes, I want to check. Uh, I am today tied up with some other work. Can't we fix it for some other day? I said, no, you carry on with your work. I will just check my goods and go get Ask him to open it. He asked that guy to open. open. It was a uh, hundred by eight feet, a massive stove, massive one, more than hundred feet, more than hundred feet, definitely. But the time we come, we will pay no under look stores, storeroom we get a and that storeroom was very neat, very clean, not a drop of dust, and not a seed of dal not a seed of dal ni kan pet me goni ni goni ni thiyenne goni patawana gada goni assen vetiche me parikwete ekak ne adisiye me chuti hodda gada da gannde o wage stores ring ge ayin ula dekak thiyanne stores walta giyama udi thai road no weda ya vistindi ya customers e me oya oya stores la on taran thiyena paripu Hello, the good one. Leasing wet ladhi na ne, Bima. Ah, me me karo ne store store wet ladhi na. Ida the dik. Hello, the good one wet ladhi. Goni had me ladhi na. Ye ke him ne. Ani hadisi ke da. Pan kela kanda pori pitiya khat ne. Ada ganne ke attend ne. You know what had happened? He has sold everything, but under the. Trust receipt ordinance that according to the trust receipt, he has promised once he sell the goods, they will settle the loan immediately, which they have not done. So I came back and he stopped the facility. And he came evening itself and he was crying and he said, Okay, please apologize me. I'm sorry, I forgot to. I said, forget about you have there, there's no uh, trust now. You have it's a breach of trust. On the matter, immediately power into the area, salty give up. It was the way of a parana, the customer can kill the upper stock life facility. These are happening. I mean, are a ordinary way we more car again, okay, when in it. Control, you know? okay. right? the, this is another beauty. TR has to be registered with land registry with, within 21 days. What the hell is that? Why TR has to be registered with the land registry within 21 days? What land registry they are talking? We are we have imported dal. Are we are we re, are we registering? Uh, importation of dal with the land registry. Can somebody give me the answer? I know you you are guessing the answer. Rajivendra Prabhu, they. You make mistakes. That's a different thing. But take it lightly. Sir, you see the place of the house. Superb, 
ക്ഷൻ customer if he is a little bit of not a uh, on time payment guy right but still we don't mind because we are controlling the goods right right then we'll see what are the input facilities products there are three generic products that may be made available under the input line one is documentary credit structured for shipment finance and shipping guarantees all these three when we are doing the facility sums when we are doing the facility sums we have to give we have to give facilities for these things we have to give facilities to open uh, documentary credit we have to give facilities to uh, retire the bills right BR loans, right? Import loans, facilities, post shipment finance, and we have to have shipping guarantee facilities if needed, right? Uh, now, when we open LCs, normally we have to have uh, a collateral. we have to have a collateral either that collateral may be under import general line or cash line cash line means if if the risk is more then we have to have cash covered we have to have cash covered otherwise we are not opening lcs for example uh, if the lcs are if you are opening lcs uh, under what do you call this um, c shipment with the bl c shipment uh, we, we we will mark the facilities under import general line import general line but if it is a way b if it is a way b or c way b 
but normal marine leak bill of lading right sea way bill or air way bill a way the bank is not named as a consignee but under a, a bill of lading the bank is named as a consignee so therefore we mark it under import general line but if it is under airway bill it is not a title document airway bill seaway bill they are not title documents like the marine bill of lading in a scenario like that then when we are opening lcs then we have to mark cash lines cash lines can be fully cash covered when the mona either 100 percent margin cash margin right or if sometimes the documents one normally is a uh, uh, bill of lady uh, bill of lading normally we issue with three copies four copies or five copies if all the copies are coming to the bank no harm then it is under general line but if one copy is send in directly to the applicant or the third party then there is no point of holding the balance with us because the customer can go to the port and get the thing cleared api me balang inna me ma tiyagena customer patta parada bank we inna bottu clear kara me gulla tiwala right so if there is a clause to say uh, one bl to be sent directly to the uh, applicant then we will, if you are putting that clause, then we will ask the customer. In that case, you have to keep 100% cash margin with us. Otherwise, we will not open the LCs. Right? Okay. Local LCs, may have a delivery document, may title document, may have 100% cash done. Right? Red clause, red clause part taken will be 100% cash. Now, in DC operations, DC operations, when we open the LC, the LC liability, LC liability, if these words are important to you guys, right? LC liabilities are contingent liabilities. LC liabilities are contingent liabilities. Contingent liabilities can be, uh, it is not a real exact liability. Contingent can be my. What is the definition of LC? What is the definition of LC? LC definition means if the documents are complied with the terms and conditions of the LC, we will pay. Again, again, if the documents are complied with the terms and conditions of the LC, we will pay. So there is a condition. What is the condition? We will pay if the documents are complied with the terms and conditions otherwise we will not pay so there's no exact or confirmed payment order only if the documents are complied with the terms and conditions then we will pay right therefore we call that type of liability as contingent liability contingent liability but when we receive the documents and when we check the documents import documents the documents are clean they, those are clean documents anna etapata apita dan gewannama weno at that point when we receive uh, bills we call it bills receivable when we receive bills bills receivable if the documents are clean the contingent liability of dc will become a real liability from that point it will be a real liability right a real liability and contingent liability when the br normally brs are settled either by cash or some form of post shipment uh, post import finance that means import bill facility in the mind we are a the gana hadadi 
ඉබාරක් කරපු ළමයෙම ඉන්නවා නම් මතක් වෙන්නේ නැති අපිට LC facilities දෙන්න ඕන ආ ඒක අද LC facility good සික කේ කරගන්න facility දෙන්න ඕන loans දෙන්න ඕන import loans දෙන්න ඕන ඔය කො shipping guarantee දෙන්න ඕන ඔක්කොම facilities අපි දන්න ඕන right okay now we'll stop at this point right and continue next week not wednesday continue next week up to this point any questions i know you are having questions don't be ashamed now the class ek kala me kamai kare oglanter me DABF ni me post graduate post graduate class ek mata hitiya ona tarang questions mata hitiya ona tarang questions mata me ekena denna den inne ekko jithmana ekko uditahana ane thema di madi kena hudidam madi ehema madi unat puti amaru apita lajja wenne pamoda මං ඇරෙන්න වෙන කෙනෙක් උගන්නන්න ඉන්නවා නම් ඔගන්න අහ ගන්න තමන් නැහැ මගේ කිසිම ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ right මට කිසිම ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ ඔගන්න ඕන දෙයක් අහ ගන්න කෙනෙක් ඉන්නවා නම් හරිද එහෙම නැත්තම් අපි පොඩ්ඩක් ඕන ලාක් මට කතා කරන්න මා නෝ කරන්න questions අහන්න before i wind up i'm free right If you have any questions, please ask me. Contingent liability and real liability. Is it all right? Why we are saying contingent liability? Now, forget. Board that keep on our double entry. The other thing, now, when we open LCs, uh, LC liability. Ka apie unna unna hamal liability akum apie mark karan ne debit rate. So we we debit LC liability. LC liability is uh, LC liability is uh, what do you call this? Uh, contingent liability. That's you know. Then when we receive the bills under bills receivable, when we receive the bills receivable, what we will do immediately? What we will do is we will mark the uh, we will credit LC liability and debit. BR, debit BR, debit bills receivable. So that means we have created a BR liability, bills receivable liability, and passing the other uh, double entry to set off the uh, LC facility. එතකොට ඔන්න ඕක තමයි ගණන් හදද්දී ඕගලන්ට ඔඩුවටම යන්න ඕන එක. දැන් ඕව නැතුව ගණන් හැදුවාම ළමයි ඉගෙන ගන්නේ ගිරව් වගේ. මට ගිරව් එපා. මට එක ගිරව් එක්වත් එපා මේ ක්ලාස් එකේ. මට ඕනේ මුතරට මාත් එක්ක කතා කරලා මම නැතුව හරි දාන ඕගලන්ට පුළුවන් වෙන්න ඕන තව ඕගලන්ගේ කලීක් කෙනෙක්ට උගන්වන්න. I need that type of paper, right? You should be able to teach another person. They can win the Ogla, they can then again, right? Magila, my own thing in now, or yet, you can again, no, and it's better to go no, they could share some thoughts. And the word a double entry in there, we credit LC liability, so the LC liability is now reversed. Now, the, now that facility is now open. And now we have created BR liability. We debit BR and credit LC. Fine. It is about say how we are going to settle the BR liability is either we give a uh, import loan facility, or if the customer has money, he will pay come and pay cash. He will pay cash and settle the bill. So when he pays cash, we debit customer. We debit his account. No? We debit customer and credit BR. Earlier now there's a BR 
debit entry is there. We credit BR, it will be our debit and trade cancelled. You know? Now we have debited customer. It must say, take a credit to Hatta then. Take a Taveka can no. Again, our nostril account. Ratim Peter, yeah. Okay. Again, my real transaction again. Cash terms are available, liabilities, liability interest reversal. Right? Okay. Only gang Lila Kerla with Agan. Devinda, any questions? Right? Okay. Okay, then. Um, if you have no questions, we'll call it a day. Please be careful. Don't go out. Stay inside, safe. But you have to go to your banks, no? You guys? Yes. Yes, yes banks are not closed. Yes, sir, we are. Yes, sir. 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 Continue with the next session. Can you can be Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Then we'll meet next week.